Hi, everybody. I'm Jay Privman, the national correspondent with Daily Racing Forum, joined by Mike Watchmaker. He's the national handicapper with Daily Racing Forum. And we're going to take a look at last week's Rebel Stakes, which was the one race that impacted our Derby Watch Top 20 this week. Mike, the two horses in this race that stay on the list were the one-two finishers in the race, Magna Moon and Solomini. Give me your thoughts on how those two performed. I thought Magna Moon was terrific again, Jay. I mean, he's three for three now, and, and all three of his races have been very impressive. Uh, the last two route races, I mean, he's definitely one of the ones as we get closer to this Kentucky Derby. I mean, he's one of two very prominent horses, justified being the other one who did races a two-year-old, but... You know, I, I, I don't care at this point. I mean, he's just a very talented racehorse. No, I really liked his race. I like the way he came away at the end and galloped out as though the distances are not going to impact him at all. As for Solomini, I thought it was a decent race for him. He tried to get through inside, and he's just not that quick to get through at that point. He's just, to me, kind of a grinding type who's not going to give you that sort of instant acceleration. And I think because of the draw last time and the way the race came up, being down inside is probably not ideal for him. I think he'd rather be outside horses. That said, he needs to take a step forward in his next start. That This race was his first in several months. He has a chance to move forward. But to me, he's just sort, sort of a grinding type, like I say. I'm not sure that he has that kind of turn of foot that you might need down the line. What did you think of his race? Well, well you know, I mean, yes, it was Solomini's first race since uh, suffering the bad disqualification and the lost self futurity in early December. But... You know, this is a horse who won his career debut, so he's already proven that he can run well off workouts alone. And he's also backed by Bob Baffert, who's one of the best layoff trainers in the business. So I, I really think Solomini was prepared to run a good race. And I think the reason to be concerned is he didn't go anywhere in terms of buyer figures over his two-year-old form. He got a 92 buyer figure for finishing second. It's right in line with all the numbers that he did that he earned last year, and it, it, it's a it's a concern to me. I mean, I expected him to take some sort of step forward, at least in terms of that, and he did. Well, that's our look at the Rebel Stakes from last week. Magna Moon and Solomini were on the list. They stay on the list. Sporting Chance, who did not run well in the Rebel, comes off the list. Gold Town, who will be running in the UAE Derby, the new horse on our Derby Watch Top 20. Make sure you go to drf.com for our latest list and stay tuned here as well for a preview of this weekend's Louisiana Derby. For Mike Watchmaker, I'm Jay Privman. Thanks for watching.